indeed, indeed. Uh, what a night for payback. That was a lot of hype, a lot of fighting, and it was amazing. I mean, you could possibly be right because, like you said, he's been gaining a lot of losses lately. First it was coming to Vladimir, or Vladimir, I should say, since he had gotten his name changed. Then it was Randy Orton, the Viper himself. And then, last but not least, it was Nightmare. Who knows? We'll just have to see when he gets in the ring. See what his face is looking like now. Look, you know, obviously the mask is kind of hiding it. Hello, WWE Universe. I have returned. And yes, I have lost all that I have. I lost my, my belts. I lost my status. And in a way... A part of me was lost last night. Every, I lost twice. And in a way, that first loss against Vladimir shook me up right before the pay-per-view. I didn't think I could lose. I didn't think I, I didn't think I'd ever taste loss, but I did. And, and the fact that Vladimir beat me, it shook me up right before the pay-per-view. And I didn't know, and I didn't know how to respond. I gave it my all against Randy, and I lost. Boo, you suck! And uh, and I let, and most importantly, even against Nightmare, I lost. I, I lost against Nightmare, and, and I don't want to hear. I know many people claim I was robbed because I grabbed the rope and the ref didn't see it, but I'm not using excuses. I lost fair and square. I lost fair and square and I take my loss humbly. And now I'm back to square one. In a way... The other way we want someone better! Hmm. All right. I th to all of you in the crowd, I want you to I want you to do something, all right? For all of those for all of those real fans out there, I would like to hear you. And for all those haters in the crowd, I'd like you to be quiet so I can hear the real fans. All right? All right, go ahead. Because I you suck. No. You goddamn suck it up the goddamn room. We don't want you. We got, we we got it. Well, it appears there's a lot of hatred in this one particular fan screaming out like a maniac. But to all to you lovely supporters, I'm back at I'm back at square one. And there's only one way up from here, and I have to give my respect to John Cena. For, t for becoming the champion, he has my res he has my respect for taking down a behemoth, you might say. So to you fans, I'm back to square one. And in a way, I'm happy this happened because me losing, me losing, taught me a valuable lesson. That it doesn't matter how good you are, you're bound to taste defeat at some point. So now I'm at rock bottom. But the good thing about being at rock bottom, there's only one way up from here. And that's to go climb the mountain again. And I respect Vince McMahon humbly 
and lovingly for believing in me and I, and I did him proud as champion. So Mr. McMahon, the great man who gave me a, an option to even be in this company, I have to say my thanks to you. Thank you. And to all those who supported me out there, you guys have my humblest of thank yous from the bottom of my heart, and I love you all. You suck it up the ring, please! I don't think that's the, that's the fan. I think that's a, one hater in the crowd. I want to hear the real fans talk. So go ahead, fans, speak up. Speak up. Because I know you there's real suck ones in You the ring! We want someone else! We want Vladimir! He whooped your ass! I know that. And I take my loss humbly because that taught me a lesson. But then I would like to say, ring. I want to say one thing to you fans. I have one last shot at even climbing the mountain. And if I fail, then it's, uh, then it's it for me. And as for what this final shot is, my last chance of redemption is that money in the bank. And if I lose again, I'm out. And, I, and in a way, to all you fans out there, I love you all, and I'm glad, and I'm glad you're here with me. The only way from here is up, and I'll be glad to be taking that journey with you great fans. I love you guys. Thank you guys. All right, after that amazing speech by the Slayer. Yes, sir. We now we have, have our triple threat match. match. Yes. The winner gets to take on Charlotte Flair at Money in the Bank. Indeed, indeed, indeed. You know that? The following contest oh. is a three point match. Making her way Let's to the hope, ring. I hope this match will, uh, will keep the, the momentum Ravis going off of that speech. Because it looked like the Slayer did indeed win over the crowd at the end. I don't know, it seemed like there was, I heard there was a lot of a mixed uh, voices there. And especially when he was talking to that one, uh, no, one, one person in particular. Yeah, but at the end, when he said, when he said, I'll be, I'll, I'm glad to be taking this journey with you, that crowd went nuts. It seemed to me that that guy was a lot louder than that crowd. But anyways, moving on to more yeah, important things. Think? We have Lana here. The, 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 yeah, the ravishing Russian Lana. Indeed, indeed. So, sir, gentlemen, who, who do, do you think that so far Charlotte can even be dethroned? At this point, I'm losing, I'm I mean, losing faith in the women's roster, the women's division. They need to step up their game. Charlotte Flair's taking out you know everybody think, so far. You know who I think you think about? There's Carmella coming out right here. Who? Carmella. Who, who did you say? Nia Jax, I think, could take her down. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Yeah, I mean, but too bad she's on Raw, unfortunately. Yeah, sad. The yeah, horse herself, Carmella. Indeed. Yes, yes. Carmella making her way to the ring. She's got that stride in her step. She's looking like she wants to win. But who knows? Who will come out of this the number one contender, gentlemen? Be anybody, but we just have to see when the match starts, you know? I can't remember the prediction too early. Guys, I'm really loving Carmella right now. Oh, you see that horse? Uh, uh, she went too far too uh, away from her uh, stable. No, no, no. Way too far away. You could say she was, she's a stray horse now. Here we have Naomi coming out. Yes, the famous Naomi. Now this is this is a really inter interesting selection. Do you think Naomi can pull off a, a 
bit of a surprising win here, gentlemen. You know, and any any woman here can pull up a surprising win and possibly go after Charlotte. So it's only time to tell. Yeah, she's she's looking she's looking good. She looks like she's got a little bit of hop in her step. She looks energetic. She looks like she is ready to go, gentlemen. But gentlemen, to my right, who are you taking to win this match? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with uh, Lana here. Lana? Why? Because I feel I feel Charlotte's expecting a strong woman to uh, appear in her match, you know. And, and Lana's not strong at all. If I'm being honest with you, maybe she can catch Lana or catch Charlotte by surprise and, and defeat her. I mean, that's why she lost at the Rumble. Maybe. That, uh, maybe that is an interesting prediction right off. there. Yeah. Hmm. As for me, I'm also, I might have, you brought up a good point. I'm going to be going for Lana as well. What about you, gentlemen, to my left? I mean, we have names, but I'm going to have to go with Naomi here. All right. Already, oh. Lana's getting attacked already by Carmella. Right there. And she's already Super on the ground. Going for a quick, quick pin. pin. The oh, horse is on top right now. Oh, a forearm right to Naomi. So far, it's Carmella controlling the match. Never mind. Oh, oh, never mind. She got, and now Lana turns her back to Naomi, and that was a bad mistake. Not the wise decision. Little high kick right there. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, what that? The Huracana. Wow, that was it. Oh, she's going for the quick pin. God dang it, Carmella, Carmella you imbecile. You horse. Carmella was was too was too busy was taunting instead of trying to stop the oh, count. Bulldog! Oh! Yeah, these girls are a bit dumb. Now he's the only one who's been doing like this. It looks like Lana's getting attacked, now, but Lana recovers. As she's rolled out. Yes, Carmella has rolled out yeah. indeed. She... Oh, oh! She's getting it looks like Carmella's right getting now. right back up. She's getting brutalized right, yeah. right now. How the hell are you talking like Don Kennedy? <clears throat> Anyways, we have Lana attacking Naomi. There goes the elbow. Oh my god, Lana dominating yeah, right now. Whoa, this this whoa. is something we haven't she seen. She doesn't know where to go with oh, her, and that's like why she gets elbowed on the side of the head. Oh, here's Carmella. What's she going to do? Like oh, there those elbows. She's right now while, while uh, Carmella is attacking. But oh, never mind. Also tossing her, oh, but didn't she work. defies Just a little bit. she defies gra gravity and does not go in the corner. Anyway, there goes. Another you know, mistake. Car so far, gentlemen, look, looks like everyone here has landed their strikes on each other, and the refs in the way, so I can't even oh. see. Oh, shoulders, and then a high kick once more. We've seen that a couple times by now. And it's oh, been no, working no, perfectly. Oh, she put her on the ropes. She's trying, trying oh, to. Oh, she's also. Know, oh no! Lana, like, wow, well, recovers. So it looks like they're just taking turns attacking each other. Oh, oh my there god! Goes a slap. Oh my Another god! Slap. Oh. So far, it is not looking good for. Carmel doing the same thing. Bunch of elbows. Bunch, Naomi just done. Elbows. Yep. Naomi's not doing. Too oh, good. Lana with a not slap. Been, can Lana and she, and she just off. throws her. Oh, uh, looks like Lana out. has Naomi to herself right here. The whole entire ring will she be able to dominate here? If she can take advantage of the fact that Carmella is stunned and unable to stop to count, she might win this. That'd be right. Oh, she's going for the going pin. Going for a quick pin right here, but Carmella gets up. Oh, one only a one count. Up. Carmella easily takes advantage of. Oh nope, no she does not because she Lana gets countered. Lana another slap, a punch, and a kick. Oh my god, a punch right back to right to the back. Oh another oh, slap. Slap her again. Famous slap. Oh. The famous Carmella Russian slap. Just, oh my just, drop. Oh the. Oh she ducks under Carmella that. Carmella ducked. Yep. Oh. oh. There goes the neck. And there goes Naomi out. out of the ring, and now we have Carmella and Lana. Oh no. Here it is! Oh! Yeah, oh. DDT! Yeah, could this be the end of it? Oh, what oh, is this? The position? One, two... No, no it's not it. the end of it! Oh, it could have been! 
Naomi's oh, back. Oh, oh, oh super Nick. kick. Well, we should be able to end this. Can well, Naomi, Naomi get in Naomi gets in there. No. no, no. And Carmella <laughs> is number one contender, gentlemen. Jesus. What is what happened to our oh, challenge? That was, that was a little surprising right there. That was a surprise. Win. So yeah, what do you think are her chances now of taking on Charlotte? Do you think she can actually have a, you know, chance in Charlotte? Nope. There's only, only time will tell. But yeah, I have to agree with Rachel. We're gonna need like a big monstrous figure to take down Charlotte. We need something like that. But who knows, maybe Carmella is the one to do it. We need to get a shot off. Congratulations to Carmella. Oh, thank God. I don't have to stare at her off her ugly ass face again. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to SmackDown. And it appears that Nightmare is coming out now, most probably to celebrate and talk to the fans about his victory. I mean, yes, 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 indeed, he has come out here to celebrate. It seems very interesting, but I mean, he got that amazing victory over the Slayer. Yes, yes, yes. The, he, took, he took, that night was a horrible night for the Slayer, emotionally and physically. He lost everything that night. And now has begun, begun a new era in the Intercontinental Championship. It is now, this is your new Intercontinental Champion, Nightmare. Coming into the ring with his new jacket. I wonder what era will become with, uh, with this man in the Intercontinental Championship picture. Only time will tell. Looking really good, he's looking fresh, looking very happy with his accomplishment because he was kind of angry that he wasn't getting anything. Well, he finally has reached the mountaintop of what he desired. Well, looks like I was right. It's like I was supposed to be. This layer has been defeated. <laughs> not once, not twice. No, three times. Three times. Imagine losing three times in one week. Couldn't be me. Oh, that, that guy, he's old news. He, I, I, didn't I tell you all? That guy's a coward. He didn't want to face me. And this was why. Because he knew I was going to take him out. And that's exactly what happened at Payback. He was forced to defend that Intercontinental Championship. Went one on one with me. Sure, sure, he dominated me a little bit in that match. He was kicking my ass a little bit around. But as usual, I can recover and I caught him off guard. And he paid for his crimes. I mean, <laughs> did he really think he could actually beat me? I mean, he tried. He tried to kick out. He tried to go and reach that rope. I think it was this one, right? <laughs> but he, he wasn't fast enough. He's a bit of a, a, a dumbass. That's what he is. He's over there, you know, earlier in the night, crying, talking about, you know, redeeming himself. He loves the fans. We don't care about your sob story. I don't. <laughs> but good, good. You're done. You're done, Slayer. Please, keep your name out of my mouth. Please, like, what, what the hell? Like, what is wrong with you coming out here saying, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this and that. Nobody cares. No, it's all about me. Because I'm the new Intercontinental Champion. And I'm gonna make this title more prestigious than it, than it ever was before. <laughs> I mean, no disrespect to the other champions, uh, except for Charlotte. But <laughs> at Payback, literally everybody else who defended their titles, they lost them. Slayer lost... Bope's championships, Alex Dynamite lost his, it's a damn shame, but I'm a man of my word, and I'm going to do what needs to be done.
So, without further ado, Alex Dynamite, I want you to get your ass over here right now. Nightmare? There's something, there's a few words I want to say before you say your piece. Congratulations! Because you beat someone who was undefeated. I mean, come on, let's be real. This guy's outfit was pretty shit. And you got the courage to defeat. And you beat the Slayer. You, once again, put another loss to his record. And I'm proud of you of that. And I want to praise you, and I want the whole entire crowd to cheer for Nightmare's victory. Yes, yes. Nightmare, 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 Nightmare. You see? Now, Nightmare, you can say your piece. Because I know you have some things that I'm sure you would like to say. So, you and uh, your tag partner, Edge, you know, you, as you know, I don't like that guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's no secret, that guy, he, he beat me at uh, Extreme Rules. So, you know, I, I, I kind of hold a little bit of hatred for that. You know, I, I kind of want to cave his head in, but... Like you said before, we have ourselves a common enemy. Now, I think my business with the Slayer has concluded, if I'm being honest, because there's no way that guy wants a rematch with me. He, he doesn't want to be embarrassed again. I'm sure he's focusing on other things, whatever the hell he has planned for himself. But, if I can remember, you have issues with him, right? Correct, correct. And I assume you still want to destroy him, correct? Yep. So, oh, with that said, you gave me what I want. Because of that, I'm going to have to give you what you want in the form of the Slayer. If you want him taken out of the picture, I can assist you in doing so. Because, after all, I did pin him. One, two, three. And he went out like a light. Probably sobbing backstage, as he should I mean, I mean, it's, it's, honestly, he shouldn't feel too ashamed. I mean, he lost to the greatest of SmackDown Live. He lost to me. But I know deep down, he, he, he got a little, he's grown a little cock. You know, he thought he could take out everybody. You know, he thought he could challenge Brock Lesnar, this and that. But ever since he took those pinfalls, you know, I think he's changed a little bit, you know. But whatever the case is, I don't care how much he changed. He's still the same guy. And he deserves to get beaten to a pulp. And if you're the guy that's going to have to do it, then by all means. But, you can do it together with Edge. Put him, in out of, put him out of his misery. Like you wanted. So how do you propose that we do that? How do you propose that we take down the man that, at first, wanted to bring you into an eight-man match just for, used to be my title... And for his, used to be his title. <laughs> That's another thing. That, yeah, that didn't that guy, he tried to make a deal with me and try to set up an eight-man ladder match for not only his Intercontinental Championship, but his WWE Championship and your Universal Championship. Well, guess what, buddy? Y'all don't have your titles anymore, Slayer. You don't have your titles. He doesn't have his title. Well, all of that is thrown out the window. Imagine that. You th um, Imagine if I had shook your hand, I accepted your deal, and turns out, what if we made it to payback, and y'all lost your titles? You would look like idiots. Slayer, that's why I, I did the good thing. I did the smart decision by attacking your dumbass. Don't ever make those stupid choices again. Don't ever come, come at me with them crackhead offers. No, sir. That's what you get, you fool. But anyways, yeah, <laughs> he's a moron for that. And he has to pay. And, you know, I think, um, I, think, I mean, if he's, 
if he's man enough, he'll show up next week on SmackDown. Hell, I'm, I believe he's still in the building. So at any point, we can jump him as a unit. And we'll take him out. Simple as that. I mean, I mean, if he doesn't want to get jumped, I mean, he could just stay out of SmackDown like he should. Let's just say... <laughs> <laughs> I have something a little better but it will obviously cut your end of the deal and you you know you as my assailant will be done and we will start put her separate ways and we will put her enemy down but there is one specific thing that I want uh huh What's that? I want a match. <laughs> now, we know Money in the Bank's around the corner. We also know that after Money in the Bank is SummerSlam. Now, I know there's probably going to be some things going on with Money in the Bank, so I won't even bother challenging him there. But SummerSlam is open for grabs because... I want to challenge the Slayer. Just a one-on-one -on -one match, a normal match, or if you want stipulations to be a pussy, we'll give him it. But what I want is I want a one-on-one -on -one match with him at SummerSlam. Because I want something that maybe you wanted when you defeated him. You're right. You wanted dominance. You wanted your spotlight back because he took that from your hands. He took that. This all confident ego guy when he had this little winning streak and now because he's getting all little pity in his little shell that he's starting to give everyone a stop story like you said. What I want is something more far greater than this man getting beaten up, this man bleeding. I want this man to feel more pain than he has ever felt, and it's not physically. Oh, it is not physically. It is something more mental. It's something more to screw up his circuit. But we all know his circuit is already fried enough since he's wearing some ugly clothing as it is. And I'm sure these fans here, these people here, agree with me because they're cheering for more than just a downfall of the Slayer. They want something more. And why not give them a battle between two former champions? Not a battle between two big units. Not a battle between the Viper and whatever he is. Something far more greater than you expect. Your fight made views because you were once a former NXT champion and he was the Intercontinental Champion. But now, since you've been in the ratings have gone up because you were known as the dominator of NXT. And yes, you could say he was known of the, as the mid-card dominator of SmackDown. But this is something far more greater than just a mid card. Two main eventers, two pay per view main eventers go at it on a one on one, or if he wants to be a pussy in stipulations. But Slayer, I want a match with you. No, I challenge you to a match at SummerSlam. Now, I want you to come out here right now and say that you accept or say whatever your other stop story that you have, whatever story that you have. I want you to come out here right now and I want you to accept my offer. But if you do not accept then this whole entire crowd, this whole entire people that you called, that you told your stop story, that you told that you were here, that you wanted everyone to cheer for you, they will all know that you are just a big pussy. 
Slayer? I'm asking you once and I'm only asking you once. Come out here and face me. Or, if you don't want to. Are you just too much of a pussy to actually come against two people who, yes, you could say, are significantly not at your size, but who are far more greater and talented than what you will ever be? Slayer! Come out! You see that crowd? You see that? He is not coming up because he is too scared of what this new intercontinental champ and what the former Universal Champion Boo! Is. You got beat by John Cena! Boo! And look, look, there's just one crowd and one person booing. How sad and depressing. Because the whole entire crowd is cheering for the downfall of the Slayer. Now, back to my point. My dear friends, my dear assailant. What I want is something far more greater than just pain. But I will tell you backstage because I don't want, I don't want the Slayer. What's the fun in the Slayer having to notice or having to possibly want to know my plans? What's the fun in that pain? What's the fun? It's all mind games, you see. And I know you played a couple mind games with him, and believe me, you played a mind games, and I've seen, I've seen your fights. You played mind games with your opponents. I know that very well. Now I want to play a little mind game of my own. I am adopting something from you, and that is your mind game. And in order to do that, I will keep what I have a secret. But don't worry. Nightmare. I will fill you in the details because it is something far more brutal and so much exciting than just beating a man. Because beating a man isn't fun. Yes, a man that deserves it. A man that has this big ego and now is just brought down to a really little speck of what his dick is. So what do you say? Would you like to hear this offer backstage? And in due time, there will be pain. It's just all about patience. But will you be patient with me? Will you, when I tell you this, will you be patient and will you understand what I'm truly wanting? You bet your ass. <laughs> Slayer! There will be judgment day for you whether you like it or not. Because don't worry. At my mountain of omnipotence, you will truly understand. And you will truly be judged! That's something. <laughs> <laughs>